It's Todd Horse here with Tasty Tracker. So this is episode number three of the 2K to 10K challenge. Today was uh, minus $472, bringing my balance to $1844. If you were watching the markets at all today, you know that SPY was down, which is the general market index. It's down to about 322. Um, And then I have an article here from CNBC that says... Uh, This is just about the Dow in general, but Dow plunges 1,000 points on coronavirus fears. 3.5% drop, the worst in two years. So in the past two years, today was uh, the worst day in the market, um, and my account is down by 472. Now, that's only a paper loss. Um, I didn't close out any positions, so I didn't actually lose that money yet. Um, And then another thing you can look at is the Fear and Greed Index. Uh, Money.cnn.com has it. Um, And right now we're sitting at a 30 on the fear. Once you get to zero, that's extreme fear. So anyway, um, so that's kind of the context for the market today. I did open one new position, and we'll go over that in a second. Um, Let me move this up here. Okay, so the options that I had talked about in episode two they finally cleared on sunday and then the net liquidity was showing as 21 uh 27 which um you know the the account values jump up and down and it it does sort of drive me nuts and all brokers do it as far as i'm aware Um, i was saying my account value was 2316 um and then when i got the um today it's around minus 400 down to 18 so it does kind of confirm what i was saying with 2316 but anyway just know that your net liquidity uh, will jump up and down Uh, i'm going to go over the charting basics as i do them on my next weekly video on thursday night friday morning Um, and then i just wanted to give a little bit of context on who i am i'm not a guru i'm just a guy i've been doing it for about uh, options for about a year and a half now I do have a full-time job where I'm a developer and a manager. Um, I go to school part-time, half-time. Um, I have a couple apartments. I um, So my options are actually my fourth job. Uh, that's supposed to be a TH. Anyway, um, yeah, so I spend some time on options, obviously, but it's not something that... Um, is my main source of income. And then the websites is actually my fifth job. So, um, so yeah, those are kind of my order priorities. Um, I'm 34 years old, I'm married, got two kids. Uh, I only did stocks for about a month uh, before I started options and I got really bored um, from doing that. It was way too slow uh, and it didn't grab my attention, even even day trading stocks. And to day trade stocks, to make anything relevant, you have to bet large sums of money. And um, that didn't seem wise, especially since people are typically day trading stocks that are really low value. Um, so they're not good companies to begin with. Not necessarily penny stocks, but, um, but lower value. Anyway, um, I'm always looking to learn. And so if you have any comments or, or feedback, throw that in the in the comment section. Um, because I believe that you're never perfect. So uh, there's something that you guys can teach me, and I'm more than happy to learn that, and we'll both kind of learn together. Um, I do have a net worth over 500. Why would I come out and say that? I'm not really, I'm not trying to brag. What I'm trying to say here is um, I do know what I'm doing financially speaking in general. Um, I, uh, with options, I'm still learning. Like I said, I've only been doing it for a year and a half. But generally speaking, I'm pretty competent. Uh, I'm also not rich, but I'm also not struggling. So I'm doing this for my family, both the site and the options, and I'm just trying to grow my net worth in general. Um, So uh, one one thing I was thinking about was, I think uh, once people see how slow this style of uh, um, trading is, that I'll end up losing 90% of the viewers um, because uh, it's it's not a get rich quick, and so my whole point in saying this is you need to treat it like a business, and understand that you're not going to be rich tomorrow. Nothing in life is 
um, is that lucky for, for you or I? You know, obviously we see people on Reddit or other places that make these huge bets, and if they don't want to, they don't have to work um, for the rest of their, their life. But I don't really think that's the majority of us. And, um, you know, if you're if you're counting on that, you're going to be uh, sorely disappointed, in my opinion. So, yeah. So anyway, I, I'm trying to do something that's um, reliable and consistent and not trying to hit uh, some huge home run. So anyway, um, and I, I was specifying the time it takes as in, in calendar days is a long time, not the time that you're uh, invested researching the stocks or staring at a screen uh, with those things it's actually my style's um, pretty good uh, pretty quick uh, but you do need to get some self-control control your demon who wants to make a big play um, otherwise if you can't get that under control you're going to end up blowing all your money um, yes you'll have some big wins and then you'll lose everything so uh, the last bullet point here is um, you know who wants to get rich quick is the people who don't have money. Um, the people that are self-made rich, which um, I didn't inherit anything. Uh, so the self-made rich work hard to get their money. So I'm not saying that big bets uh, in research isn't working hard. Um, but what I'm saying is uh, usually majority of us have to work hard to get that money. And if it looks like a get rich quick, uh, it's, it's generally a scam. Um, okay, so if I hop over to Tastyworks today, I can see the account balance, 1844. What did I write here? Yeah, 1844. Um, and you can see my uh, chart today. It's working for whatever reason. This is my entire account, uh, and you can see the majority of the positions lost quite a bit of money today. That's why it's sort of funny when uh, people say trading alerts can't work, especially with this style. And I agree alerts don't really work well for day trades, but the AMD, if you waited uh, till today to put that on, you would have gotten an additional $45 in premium if you chose the exact same strikes. Now, if you haven't put that position on now and it, yet and you're still interested in it, you can either choose to... Um, get strikes that are lower and better position, or you can choose to get more premium or you can go out further. Um, so you can definitely adapt it to what you want to do. Um, and it's, it's really a judgment call. So if we double click on AMD and then go to our expiration, there's a little dot here because that's where we have positions on. And we can see right now it's a 57% chance in the money. So we could get strikes the whole way down here at 45. If I click on these two, and um, of course that's $30 uh, isn't isn't quite right, but maybe you might want to go with the 46 or, or something like that. Um, so yeah, so you could get that much better position than when, if and when the market does turn around, you have that better uh, that much better of a position or if you still think it can jump up to where I'm at then you're welcome to take the same strikes and just make a lot more premium for it okay so the position I took today was for Microsoft um, I took that at 10 something I think and I posted it on the video update number two as a pinned comment um, but you can see here the strikes I got were 160 165 and it's already down um, ten dollars from when I Put the position on so um, none of these move insanely fast you could have done it and right when i did and only be down 10 bucks or you could do it tomorrow or you cannot do it at all definitely i would say um, feel free to follow along or or not you you need to make those des decisions yourself uh, that way uh, you're not blaming me i'm not a registered financial advisor this is all just uh, me showing you what I'm doing, but not necessarily recommending that you do it. So what did I see on Microsoft? Well, first of all, it's a down day. And as I've already talked about, down days are great days to make up some money. Um, once this all loads up here, I'll go to the chart. Okay, so we can see here that it's um, hitting the uh, 50 SMA. Uh, and it kind of bounced off of that. So uh, if we zoom out here, 
we can see here it, it doesn't touch and here it doesn't touch, but usually when it gets close or touches this 50 um, for the whole past year, it's bounced off of that line. So that is a strong support. Uh, obviously nothing is written in stone, so it could break that and go down to the 200, um, but generally speaking, the 50 uh, simple moving average here is where it landed today. Um, so I thought that was a good position to put on. And of course, down here, we've got the RSI. Um, and just generally speaking, the whole market was down. So you're going to see this on basically every chart. Now, I do think the market was due for a pullback anyway. Um, so I'm not necessarily surprised. But um, I also thought it was going to pull back around 300 and where the whole we got up the, the whole way to 338. So, so um, you can never really bet to... Um, too soon, I guess, and think that, oh, it's going to pull back now, it's going to pull back now, it's going to pull back now. You can never really predict that, so you kind of just have to plan um, on things staying the course and then adapt as things go. Um, so anyway, uh, that's the update for today, and I'll see you next time.